John Hayes. Mr Speaker, as the sun comes up, it also sets, and it's certainly setting on that member and her party. Mr Speaker, I would simply like to point out to that member, who was not at any of the select committee meetings that discussed this legislation, that in fact a person and their partner with two children collecting an income of about $50,000 or below pays no tax at all. None. Zero. Zip. Mr Speaker, this bill clarifies the tax treatment of employer provided accommodation, accommodation allowances and other payments provided by employers to employees to reimburse them for expenditure incurred. It will bring clarity for many taxpayers and minimise compliance and administration costs for many businesses and organisations. Mr Speaker, that's really good. And can I please also challenge, sir, the comments made by the last speaker around the regional employment scheme by saying the people there are not paid the minimum wage. Sir, if that is the situation, those employers are oper operating beyond the law, and they certainly don't do that in my electorate because I keep a very close eye on it. Mr Speaker, when an employee is expected to work away from home or from their workplace for up to two years, employer-provided accommodation will be tax-exempt. This exemption will be provided for three years for employees working on capital projects, and there's a separate transitional rule operating down in Christchurch. Mr Speaker, this is jolly good legislation, completely misrepresented by the last speaker. I commend it to the House. I call the honourable member, Carol I take Beaumont. a short call, Mr Speaker. Um, I'm speaking on be, um, an, 